Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what if I told you Chill Thrill have ch has changed something to the game that I don't think he intended, and it's so overpowered, okay, guys? I can prove to you that within, like, 30 minutes, I be I can pretty much become a pro player, okay? It is absolutely mental. Did you know that 76.5% of you guys are still not yet subscribed? So, guys, if you haven't already, subscribe right now. We want to get that number down together so guys to prove this to you without any cheese or any specialties i made a brand new account that has never been played on before as you can see i just got the tutorial pop up i'm just gonna skip through this because i don't need to hear about it agents of egg i wish i could cancel this but i actually can't when i click on x i'm gonna still get the free items guys this tutorial works without the egg update so guys if the if, if the egg update isn't while you're playing you're you're good you're still good okay this is so insane i can't believe it <laughs> So guys, okay, we're gonna speed run this, okay? I am going to do something in 20 seconds that is going to entirely alter the, mem the momentum of this game, okay? So I'm gonna do this, okay? <sighs> okay, quests, load in the soccer quest. Okay, quick, 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 load it in. Okay, three, two, one, and... Uh, okay, I just beat the game. Just beat the game. Game's just been beat. There you go, free items. You might think to yourself, Jesse, are you going nuts because you just got 50 gold and a couple of free things? Huh? No, guys. The reason I'm going nuts is because Chill Throw has actually done something. That just makes this 50 gold the most valuable 50 gold that you're ever going to collect. So, guys, what we're going to buy with this 50 gold is one hinge. They, he changed the price of this. This is why this is such a big deal. We're going to buy one hinge, okay? And that one hinge is the key to pretty much changing the momentum of the game. So, guys, with this one hinge, we can do a lot of different things, guys. We can pretty much complete any quest where we actually have to do something. Okay, I just died like an idiot. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, I just loaded in a different different quest. I mean, I could have loaded in a bunch of these. Actually, I can do. I can already complete ramp. I can complete target. I can complete cloud. I can complete find me. I mean, I can complete almost any quest. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do next, guys. Okay, so this one hinge is going to allow us to pretty much just change everything. <laughs> so guys, we're going to place a chair. And next, we're going to go into anchor block. Okay, we want anchor block to actually be off and match rotation to be on. Okay, guys, you want to go into your settings. You want to do this yourself as well. Now, once we've done this, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this hinge that we pretty much bought. And we're going to place this with rotating it with the yellow nub facing towards us guys you want to kind of be halfway off the chair like this now if i delete this chair i can fly or 50 gold you can unlock flight that's right so we're gonna just quickly okay so guys if you actually don't know how to control this uh pretty much if you jump you're gonna jump away from the hinge climb up you can climb up and you can climb down Cl climbing down is kind of broken right now but that's fine so we're gonna just go hover over here we're gonna delete it and we're gonna just go through here go through the thing and we get our reward <laughs> 100 blocks i mean why not and guys we're actually gonna do this for all of the different quests that we can do actually so next up we got target let me load it in i am such an idiot i've died again <laughs> so yeah guys same thing we're gonna place a chair then we're gonna grab a hinge and we're gonna place the hinge facing into us like this and we're gonna climb up and uh, guys with first person first person or with shift lock you can actually look around so we're gonna you know just fly by pr like climbing up and jumping pretty much as you can see right here boop, 150 gold this time and a bunch of other blocks guys these are all really good blocks as well guys as you can see our block menu is slowly starting to build up really nice <laughs> and then the final quest that i'm actually gonna do guys is cloud okay let me load this in let me place the chair and do the whole glitch <laughs> there we go now we just have to fly into that cloud over there and we get a bunch of free stuff again all right there we go we have now completed the cloud quest and we have gotten pretty much all of the very, very, very quick free stuff, okay? But guys, there is so much more that is going to come from this glitch, okay, guys? I'm just telling you, this is insane. So guys, you can usually also do the find me quest with this very easily and you get a thousand gold for free. But right now, the find me quest is broken because Chilthro has changed the first stage. Uh, he still needs to fix this, but uh, yeah, it's actually pretty easy, guys. There's pretty much a butter block that's here, then it goes up a little bit and it goes over to there, then it goes over to your flagpole and then it's right there on top of the first stage, okay? If you do that, and you find all the different butter blocks and click on them. You're gonna, you're gonna get yourself a free thousand gold, but we don't even need that. <laughs> that's that's the crazy part, guys. We just don't need that thousand gold yet. <laughs> so we're still good. All right, so guys, next up, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna go and claim every single code that is available in Build-A-Bug right now. But specifically, we don't really need to claim every code. We just need to claim specifically a code that holds a cake. So in this case, Happy Easter is one of them, which you get a free cake from. And guys, there's almost always a code that gives you cake. I don't know what it is, but Chill just loves putting cakes in the code. So if you wanna just get a cake, just kind of go to the most recent code video that I've made or just look up Jesse TC code video and you should get a pretty good idea of actually like a co 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 code with a cake in it. If Happy Easter doesn't work, okay, here's another one that might work for you. The Sasquatch like this. Okay, zoom in right here. This one is another one that gives you a cake. You can claim this. And gang, then guys, if any of those codes don't work, there's also this code right here, which I'm pretty sure stays in the game. Chill Thrill 709 was here. Pretty much the owner was here and that will give you one free arrow or what do you call a firework rocket. So guys, what we're gonna do with all the stuff that we just got from the codes 
is actually we're gonna go into the chest system and we're gonna keep purchasing the cheapest chest until we get ourselves a ladder and guys this ch this chest is really cheap so the chance of getting a ladder is really high there you go guys i just got a ladder i mean i don't think i've ever tried this without getting a ladder so i've tried this a couple times guys so i think you should be good yeah guys with that we now have every single component to actually build ourselves an upgraded version of our flying machine so pretty much guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a block halfway on top of that block we're gonna place another block and then we're gonna place three more blocks like this so that way we have a little shape like this and we're gonna place a chair like this facing away and we're gonna grab ourselves a hinge which is this thing right here guys and we're gonna rotate this to actually be like this so as you can see right here there's a half block missing right there then guys we're gonna change our movement if you click on move and it's set you can change it to a different values we're gonna set it to 0.5 and we're gonna grab the ladder that we just got and we're gonna place it to be halfway off the servo like this and then we're gonna actually set everything back to normal so guys with this right here this is actually the perfect flying machine there's no better flying machine than get this guys so what we're actually gonna do right now is we're gonna save this okay boom so that way we don't actually have to build it every single time so guys, the way we're actually going to get ourselves into flight mode is we're going to either here, okay, right here, we're going to grab ourselves a cake, place it in our inside of ourselves, and then as, if you jump, you can fly like this. As you can see, same idea, you just have a lot better control. Or guys, I mean, if you only are able to claim the Chill Throw 709 code, you can actually do this as well with a firework. Guys, if you grab this one firework rocket you get, I don't know why Chill gives this to you. I wonder if it's for this reason, but if, if you place it right there behind yourself, like so, you can also build yourself a flying machine like this, okay? So even if you don't get a cake, you can still do it that way <laughs> so guys the next system in the game that we're actually going to exploit is something that is called the chest system and he's actually recently updated this so pretty much guys if you don't know what the chest system is it's this uh, system right here so we've done the quest now we've done a lot of them next up we're gonna go to the chest and as you can see there's all these different things that you can actually claim which they all give you different kinds of rewards now we're going to be going after one specific reward okay one specific reward that is going to change everything so guys with the same flying machine i mean we can kind of use it like we can climb down we can climb up we can look around. We can do it first person, like I said earlier. I mean, it works the exact same as the previous one. So guys, what we're actually going to be looking for is something that is called the washing machine stage. Like, it's pretty easy to find, guys. It's that stage right there with a the giant thing underneath of it. And it's like a, like this light baby blue color, guys. If you don't have it in your like stage setup, because they guys, they're random, uh, just try to find a different server that actually has it. Because this stage right here holds the key to big money. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, yeah, as you can see, we've already pretty much broken the game. As you can see, we're way off into the distance of the actual water. And we're just kind of flying. <laughs> but yeah, whatever. You know, it doesn't matter. Because guys, this is not even, this is not even close to the craziest part of this whole thing that is possible, guys. Pretty much with the recent changes that Chill Thrill made to the game, he's pretty much made like the craziest thing ever possible for starting players, which is really cool. I don't think he intended this either. <laughs> but hey, I don't think he's going to remove it either. So guys, once we get into this stage, guys, we can actually get the secret chest from here. Actually, you guys, if you want to, you get, just get rid of it. You can delete it or you can just launch the firework rocket and just jump off. Guys, there's this little mini game that is uh, in this little TV right here. We go over here and we click on the button right here. We're going to go into this TV and we're going to have to complete a mini game. Now, you might fail this a couple times, guys. It can be a little bit tricky. I might fail it myself. But pretty much this little thing up here is going to shoot out bubbles and you want to dodge the bubbles uh, to pretty much get the reward. So yeah, I recommend trying to always stay towards the middle. Makes it the easiest. That's kind of like the master tip that I can give you for this one. Try to always be in the middle if possible. So yeah, guys, there's actually different stages of this boss fight. So he's going to go yellow now and he's actually going to shoot out like a little bit harder obstacles. But if you try to try to stay in the middle and just try to dodge everything, you should be pretty much good. Oh, oh, he's going sicko. Oh, I just died. Okay. Got to just try it over again, guys. This might take a couple tries. Okay. This might take a couple of tries, but it's really easy to get back there since we just have the flying machine saved. So we just load it back in and all we have to do to get going again is just place another firework or whatever it is. And yeah, there you go. Also, guys, if possible, if you have a blue candy or a pink candy, this does make everything a bit easier. So pink candy can actually speed up your flight you can see flying a lot faster now and don't need the blue candy yet but the blue candy can make the actual boss fight a lot easier because you're smaller okay the blue candy makes you small so these are, if, the, if you have these two things it helps out a little bit but they're definitely not necessary so yeah guys we're already back let's get it oh my god i nearly just fell into the void <laughs> and guys there's actually no point in going to the end with this thing because you actually have to go through all of the stages to actually get your gold so if you were wondering oh, oh i could just fly to the end that doesn't work so, sadly <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna actually eat our blue candy now and we're gonna get rid of this whole thing we're gonna get off of here and we're gonna go back into the tv minigame oh Someone else is actually doing it. Never mind. We got to wait for him. I hope he can do it. I would be really nice. I believe in you, brother. Oh my God. He actually did it, guys. So yeah, when you actually beat it, you get the chest. I mean, I, now I still have to do it though. So wait, can I just go over here and snag his chest? <laughs> Come on, let me in. <laughs> ah, no, I can't steal his chest. Well, I just got to do it myself.
And there it is. Jump over that. Okay. And there we go, guys. We've no, I mean, we've just beaten the final boss. Very, very... Well, this isn't the final boss. This is just a boss. But there you go, guys. We get the chest. So, guys, what we get from this is 250 gold. But more importantly, golden harpoons. Specifically, golden harpoons. Guys, these are things that you can usually only get from spending Robux. But for some reason, he's actually allowed you to get these through just doing that objective. Now, guys, we actually have two golden harpoons now. And this completely changes the game. So, guys, what we're going to do next up... We are going to go back into the quest system and load in soccer one more time. So guys, there's actually this secret objective that if you bring the big soccer ball to the end, you will actually get yourself an insane reward for doing so. Now, this is something that is considered really difficult and kind of like late game because you have to usually box this in and with this little protected box, bring it to the end. Now, guys, we are just going to bypass this and completely ruin the game. So guys, this thing, the thing that I'm about, about to talk about is actually from Adrianzo12, guys. Make sure you check him out on YouTube at the end of this video, guys. He is an insane insane friend of mine. He's like come up with this entire thing, guys. I'll make sure to remind you at the end. Like, it's actually insane. So, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually grab this harpoon, attach it to the ball, and we're going to reel this thing in like so. And then, I mean, it's gonna detach at some point. We're gonna just reattach it. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here, and we're gonna place some blocks like this to attach to the harpoon, and we're gonna keep placing blocks until we kind of get to the little nub right here. So, guys, do I have the blocks? I don't have the blocks. Guys, it is actually, okay, I should explain this to you. It's actually impossible to attach anything to this ball, okay? It's usually impossible the only thing we can really attach is a harpoon, but we can't just fly with just a harpoon. So guys, actually what we're going to have to do up next is actually keep opening up chests until we get chair. We need more wooden chairs. And yeah, guys, we have so much gold now. There's really no stress about getting them at some point. Oh, I, I, guys, I just got them. Okay, I just got two chairs. So pretty much what I'm going to do with these two chairs right here. So I'm going to actually place this right here. So guys, for some reason, chairs have this property that allows you to attach them to pretty much anything except this ball. <laughs> actually, I got to delete one of them to show you. As you can see, it actually doesn't attach. So we can attach them to the harpoon which is attached to the ball, which pretty much allows us to completely... Dude, it's crazy. So, guys, we're gonna actually go back into our fly glitch. And as you can see, we can now fly with the ball. It's pretty crazy. Now, guys, we are going to fly this ball all the way to the end, okay? We're gonna have to go all the way to the end for this to actually be done. And flying with the ball, guys, is a little bit glitchy, a little bit wonky, but it should still work fine. <laughs> so, guys, just make sure that you stay far, far away from the stages because some of them can actually still kill you. Like, even if you're like a decent ways away from them. And as you can see, we're almost at the end right here. So, guys, what we wanna try to do is we actually try, kind of wanna try to actually aim the ball for specific specifically on the chest guys it can become a little bit frustrating to actually move this ball guys because it's kind of very heavy to actually move it with your character can be kind of difficult sometimes so we want to try we want to try to get it onto the chest right away otherwise it might take a little bit <laughs> all right guys just climbing down my ladder all right so i haven't aimed it perfectly this time but i'm actually going to be kind of cool with this right here because this is pretty close i'm going to detach it like that okay and then with that we're gonna okay make sure that it doesn't keep rolling okay 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 okay, okay, okay. stop it and then let's delete all of these blocks right here guys then we're going to actually do the final push of the soccer ball into the chest and once we have actually done that, guys, you're gonna, your mind's going to blow up. All right, just a little bit further. <laughs> All right, I think that's it right there. There you go, guys. You're going to get yourself 3,000 gold and 10 soccer balls. I mean, the 10 soccer balls don't matter at all. But guys, 3,000 gold is the equivalent of getting to the end 30 times, okay? That is how much money that actually is. That, guys, that is insane, guys. The ticker, I mean, it's still ticking. It's actually crazy. But guys, now that we've actually done that, I mean, as you can see, if you just kind of cheat your way to the end like we just did, you're actually not going to get anything from the chest, really. I mean, I got 10 gold and I got like, Oh my god, you're a master boater. You've made it to the end now, but that doesn't really matter. So guys, with that 3,000 gold, we can now do pretty much anything we want, guys. One of the things I actually kind of recommend getting is just opening up a bunch of chests, guys. Hopefully, you can get yourself a cannon from this, okay? So then, what you can actually do, guys, once we... I mean, we have our flying machine right here. I mean, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up a couple of chests here, okay? Just to show you guys. I'm gonna actually open up the blue chest, guys. And I'm hoping to get cannons, okay? That's what I want. Actually, I'm gonna open up a purple one. Let's just screw it. All right, guys, I just got a cannon. So guys, with this right here, if I just place this one cannon right here on the front of my boat like so, I pretty much now have the ultimate setup possible to obtain every single chest in the game. So guys, if you want to know how to actually obtain every single one of these chests, guys, we've just won't done one in this video because that one is absolutely necessary to do all this. But guys, you can get every single other thing right here in this menu with this little setup right here. So guys, we're going to save this, obviously. <laughs> and we can now do absolutely anything we want. So we also have 2,600 gold left to actually buy whatever we want. So let's say I want to buy blocks. I mean, I can, I, I've pretty much reached late game. I can kind of build a lot of different cool things. So guys, with that, we're actually going to end off today's video. Guys, if you haven't already, please go to the next video, which is going to be how to actually get every single one of the chests, because that's going to teach you a lot about how to actually like become rich. Okay, you're going to get so much free stuff from that, guys. Before you do any of that, actually, please subscribe to my good friend, Adria Ad Adrianzo12. He's actually the one that came up with like the most important method in this whole glitch. So please go check him out, guys. There will be a link in the description. But guys, with that, I'll see you all in the next one, boys. Bye-bye. Doodoo. -bye.